And look, I can actually like put the phone here and watch it like a movie. This works pretty well. Nice. <laughs> All right, so we just got to Narita Airport. Today, we are flying Vanilla Airlines and going from Tokyo to Amami Oshima. Hopefully this will be a good trip. All right, let's move on. One thing to note when you're flying Vanilla Airlines from Narita Airport, you have to go to Terminal 3. You can't actually take the train to Terminal 3. You have to go to Terminal 2 and then walk to Terminal 3 or take a little bus, but it's just as good to walk, so not a big deal. When riding escalators, you always want to be on the left-hand side. You can see most of the people are on the left-hand side, except for this guy. He's not on the left-hand side. See, these people behind me are on the left-hand side. One cool thing when you're trying to go to Terminal 3, all you have to do is follow these tracks. It's kind of like getting ready for the 2020 Olympics. You just got to follow the tracks all the way to Terminal 3. So easy and simple. For domestic flights in Japan, you need to get through the gate 30 minutes prior to departure. I like to be there two hours. Michael doesn't like it, as you guys already know from previous vlogs. We're about an hour and a half in advance, so you should have no problem arriving. That's a really big box. I don't know what they're sending across, but that's a really big box. After a few minutes, we finally made it to Terminal 3. Let's go check in. Michael's not doing so well. How are you feeling? Everything is efficient. We wasted like a whole hour. I'm so happy right now. We're early. Finally made it to the gate. Ready to go to Amami. I think in Amami it's gonna be really, really nice weather. Got some snacks, a water for the plane. So if you want, you can go to the Lawson, just like it's a kombini right outside, pick up some food, pick up whatever you want, and like buy it and then bring it on the plane, and then you'll have snacks on the plane. Luckily our flight is only gonna be like maybe two hours and 40 minutes, so it's not too long, but it's good to have a snack. Again, I'm really happy that we came here early. Michael is not so happy because we had to wait in line and it got to the front. We were about to check in. They said, no, you have to wait another 15 minutes. So then we have to get back to the line and wait. You can't check in too early here. It's not like an international flight where you can like, check in two, two and a half hours early. Here, it's like maybe an hour and a half or to an hour right before the flight takes off. So yeah, we'll have to kind of refigure the calculations out. Maybe get here like four hours early and just like hang out at the restaurant area. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. But Michael wasn't too happy. Just gotta wait for the plane now. That was interesting. She wasn't too friendly. I don't know why. King. Oh, we're getting on a bus now. Right. At least they have a covered area for this section. Without it, we'd be really, really wet. Hi. Customer service was alright. The ground staff weren't too friendly, but flight attendants were helpful. Good and bad, so I'd give it a 3. But at the end of the flight, they picked up their service game, and I gave them an overall 4. Who needs a lay when you get a big yellow high 5? Cabin design was surprising. It had black leather seats with red belts. Seat space was 29 inches, which is the standard for LCCs. Seat pockets are on the bottom, so if you put a bottle of water or something in it, you might have a little less leg space. Classy design I like. I give it a 4. Alright, we're finally on the plane. Also, I brought a special surprise to make this a little bit easier. I found something on Amazon that looked pretty cool, and so I got it for this trip. But I'm really excited. Here we go. There you go, check it out. Pretty cool, right? If I want, and I want to like watch my movie. Oh, this is gonna be such an easy flight. I wish I would have found this like ages ago and all the different flights we've gone on. Since meals are not usually included on LCC flights, I'm rating their menu on food options. Food menu is basic. Look, it's ripped. Don't judge a book by its cover. 
They offer Japanese bento boxes for their main dishes around $6 to $7 and a cup of soup for about $4 to $5. Vanilla Air have basic snacks too. Nothing special and a bit expensive, so I give it an overall 3. So, I'd have to say everything is like pretty standard. I really like the leather seats here. It looks pretty cool. It's like, doesn't it feel like an LZ seat. Aside from that, I mean, don't expect a lot because we're only traveling two and a half hours. Also, the staff were pretty nice. Check-in went really, really smoothly. Overall, good experience so far. Now let's get to Alami. All right, so it looks like we are about to land. Let's get out of here. <laughs> We're off the plane. It's super hot outside, just the way I like it. <laughs> 